nursing homes. And here today is a governor who I happen to like a lot. And he's done a fantastic job in a fantastic state, a state that I happen to like a lot. It's called Tennessee. Uh, for some reason, they like me. I haven't figured that out, but they like me in Tennessee. So that's good, Bill. Please come up. Governor Bill Lee, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and thank you to your team, um, many in this room that we have worked with. Uh, you are guiding America through a tremendous crisis, and you're doing it incredibly well, and America is very grateful for that. And we are grateful in Tennessee for the partnership, the partnership between the federal government and, and states like ours. Um, as we work to make our contribution to fighting COVID-19, we can do so because of the work that you're doing and the way that you're supporting what we're doing. So, uh, Mr. President, you've asked states to commit to a goal of testing 2% of their population. In April, 2% of Tennesseans were tested. And we have tested over 175,000 to date. Uh, but as we look to May, to, to build upon that, we're, we're actually strengthening our commitment, particularly to the elderly, uh, the most vulnerable, of our citizens, especially those in nursing homes. Uh, you know, there's a, a scripture describes being hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. And that's where we are in Tennessee. I think that's where we are in a nation, but the elderly are most hard pressed in this setting. And especially those in long-term care facilities and they need our help. So in Tennessee, we're committed to testing every resident and every staff in every one of our 700 long-term care facilities. Um, it'll be a great undertaking, but it, it, it honors the value of these lives in those facilities, um, lives that have protected our country in the hardest of times, the greatest generation, and those that have a, a loving legacy of being our neighbors and our friends and our grandparents. And, and it, it's time for us to protect them. And we, um, we should do so by pursuing social distancing, for example, in, in every way that we can with them. And the distance is sometimes a great goal if I haven't hugged my own elderly mom in, in eight weeks. But we're doing right by these citizens, and you're doing right by committing to these citizens to make certain that they, uh, that, that we do our personal part to make sure that they're safe, and while valuing our freedoms all at the same time. So while, while I think as a country we may be hard pressed on many sides, we are not crushed. And we are grateful for your leadership and for this team's leadership, and particularly your commitment to the most vulnerable in our nation, and together we will get through this. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much, Bill. Great